The meeting's adjourned? No. <laughs> I'm sure that all of you, uh, as, I, as I was coming down the stairs, I asked Matt how long did it take for the rumor to move through the uh, organization, and he said about two minutes, and I think that's true. <laughs> well, I'm not going to say. <laughs> That'll allow you to uh, use your imaginations. I wanted to just say a couple of words. A few months back, uh, when Randy Hardy left, I think we all felt a bittersweet mix of emotions. We all wished uh, Randy well in his new and well-deserved promotion, but we faced a challenge in filling such a critical position. Because City Light is one of the best utilities in the nation, not only by its size and by the customer base and by the revenues that we produce, but it's one of the best because of the employees and I think the customer service and the high standards that we have put forward. I told somebody once that all you had to do was go to the headwaters of this gadget and to feel the sense of what power is to the Pacific Northwest and you know why the spirit grows in the way that it does. But needless to say, in these interim months, I had the opportunity to call upon the expertise of Malcolm Mac McDonald, who has served me well and has done a wonderful job as interim superintendent of City Light. And I want to personally say from the bottom of my heart, thank you, Mac, for a job well done, and I'm really very appreciative of that. <laughs> this utility has had some very strong leaders in every area that we've seen, and I want to compliment and thank all the deputy superintendents and those who have had to fill in this gap in this interim because they've had to operate and work as a team and I think as a team they've done that and I think that's most important. But needless to say I set out with a process and in that process for selection of a new superintendent of City Light there were some key priorities that I had in mind. First of all was the sense of conservation the continuance of customer service, efficiency and a management style that stresses employee involvement. And I'm pleased to say that I found someone who I think meets all of those priorities and more. The person that I have selected and nominated as the superintendent of City Light is Roberta Palm Bradley. And I think she has the experience in the background and the vision to lead City Light through the challenges of the 90s. She has had a distinguished career with Pacific Gas and Electric, America's largest energy utility. Most recently, she had managed all the electric and gas utility operations for the Silverado Division, 300,000 customers in Vallejo and the Napa Valley area of, uh, of uh, California, with $200 million in revenues. Previously, she held several key positions in public affairs. Her duties included public information on alternative energy, hazardous waste, productivity improvements, and customer service. She also served as conservation information coordinator and helped to develop and implement the outreach program for PG&E's $274 million conservation program. And previously, she was editor for the Howard University Press a general assignment reporter for the Washington African American newspaper. So therefore, Roberta Palm Bradley will be the first woman and the first person of color to ever serve as City Light Superintendent. Her background, her wealth of experience, her strong personal skills, and her commitment to diversity will serve her well, and I think serve the city well in the years ahead. And I think in a time of America with dwindling resources, I think her sense of direction is something that I appreciate. But for all the resume and for all the kinds of things that we have, I really would like to say that most of all what I like about Roberta Palm Bradley is she listens, she loves people, and she has a willingness to communicate. To communicate the sense of what I want this agency to communicate not only to you, who I value so well, but to our customers. Because there's a vision and there's a direction and there's a hope that we want in this agency and this organization. And I want to make sure that the word goes out that this mayor 
wants to have a leader that takes you even higher than where you've been before. And I believe that if you work together, there's no limit to where we'll go as a leader in energy and conservation and energy power leadership. So without any further ado, I'd like to introduce to you Roberta Palm Bradley, the superintendent of the City Light nominee. Roberta. Well, gee whiz, with an introduction like that, I might as well go home. <laughs> this is great. Uh, it certainly has been uh, a wonderful experience to be interviewed for this great job to work with all of you. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm very energized by the fact that there's some wonderful challenges. I just left the department head to lined out uh, all the wonderful challenges that you have ahead. <laughs> and uh, I'm still here. <laughs> uh, they're the kinds of challenges that I like, particularly because, as they told me, those challenges will be met because of the wonderful people that you have here working with you. And I'm certainly, for one, am going to take full advantage of that. If you talk to any of the folks who have worked with me in PG&E, they will tell you that Roberta Palm Bradley is the kind of person who is going to listen who's going to certainly act on issues, and is someone who really values what her employees and the, uh, her fellow employees bring to the party. You will find that I will have, and you can expect from me, and you can call me on it, an open door policy. You can expect that I will value everything that you have to say. Sometimes we won't agree. But I will value the fact that you are willing to jump in the fray and help me run this business. I will expect that from you. I will want that from you. I will want you to challenge me. I will want you to challenge your supervisors to do the right thing for our customers. I will want you to understand what our vision is, and I'm going to work really hard over the next few months of communicating my vision and the mayor's vision and getting back your ideas of what you think we should be doing to fulfill those promises that we've made to our customers and to our fellow citizens. I'll be counting on you to help me do that. And I'll be asking you, I'm going to try very hard to meet with each and every one of you, probably not for a long time, but meet with as many as you as possible to talk about what your issues are and how you'd run the business if you were in my place. And um, hopefully we'll come up some, with some really good solutions together for a lot of the challenges that we have ahead. You will see that I really value the union movement and the unions as partnerships and partners in our business and what we have to accomplish. And I would hope that if any of you have any friends and relatives who are still in California, that you would uh, call any of your brothers and sisters in the IBEW or as we have the ESC and, and find out what I'm all about. And you'll find that I'm pretty much what I am. I am what I am. Um, I really want to instill trust and integrity in the way that we deal one with another. You can expect that from me. And if you feel you're not getting that from me, I really expect you to call me on it. Uh, it's going there, we're going through times of major transition. And I think that the mayor has brought me in here to um, not only to be a change master, and I don't think I'll have to do a lot of that because you all already have an excellent foundation for a wonderful utility, but he's brought me in here at this time of, of a very important change in, in the way we do business, hoping that I will be able to impart his vision. And I can only do that with your help. And I'll be calling on you. I'll be showing up. I'll be the one who sometimes is in jeans on the, out in the field. I will be the one who will really be seeking your ideas about how we can run this business better. And I do view it as a business. I am extremely happy to be here. Um, my husband and I are in the process of looking for a house here in Seattle. I've only been to Seattle as a, as a tourist. So um, I'm really looking forward to um, to uh, learning about the, re uh, the real Seattle. I understand that I can eat my way through it. And that's uh, <laughs> something that I'm quite fearful of, but I've been assured, I, I also have, have been assured that there's a, a Y very close by so that we can work on that together as well. Um, again, it's, very, it's going to be my pleasure to work here with you. 
and to be a partner with you in taking this utility forward. I'm very excited about the prospect of being here, and I hope that you will work with me and that we will have a bright, a bright and shining future. And again, don't hold it against me that I have lived in California for a while, <laughs> because I really am from Maryland. <laughs> So thank you. You'll be seeing more of me later. Without any further ado, I hope that uh, this has been a long process. It's been one, though, that has uh, taken a lot of my time, a lot of my thought, and a lot of uh, deliberations. Uh, no decision uh, when you have quality candidates is an easy one. And uh, I can't begin to tell you, but any, a large number, you have it yourself when you've had to make decisions. Uh, you make them the way you think uh, you ought to go, and you'll live with your decisions as you make them. I think, though, that you'll be pleased with our decisions, and I think you'll see that there is some, a whole lot of good things ahead. And I'm looking forward to it, and I'm exhilarated by it, and uh, uh, I feel that the Rice team is uh, complete. So thank you very much, and thank you all for coming out and waiting for us. Thank you.